Good day, fellow investors. I read many comments about stock market crashes and how you're waiting for a stock market crash. I thank you for the comments and leave always a comment. I always, I'm always happy to read it, but I might not disagree on the waiting for a stock market crash because I think that over the very long term, it doesn't maximize your investment returns. And in this video, I'm going to explain why I think so and why a strategy of being a little bit more aggressive not waiting, does not timing the market, but having time in the market, I believe will lead to higher long-term investing returns. Let's start. So I don't like timing the market because you are timing the market and you are assuming that you can forecast where will stock prices go, that you can forecast what will the economy do and that you can forecast what the Fed will do with interest rates and everything that comes along with that. Warren Buffett always says, I can do it, I cannot forecast what will happen with the economy, what will happen with the Fed, what will happen with stock prices, so why would we think we could do it? So that's one. And then timing the market has also proven in the past not as a good strategy because you never know what will happen, what will happen next, which leads to speculation, greed, trying to outperform not on investing but on speculating, which is a very, very tough thing to do. If we just look at the drawdowns of the S&P 500 over the last 35, 39 years, you can see that, okay, it, there is always volatility, but there are only a few really, really deep drawdowns. So intra-year drawdown was 34% in 1987, 20% in the 1990s, but then a lot of just small, small declines up to 11%, then two big down declines in the 2000s, the dot-com bubble, then a huge decline for the great financial crash. And then the last one was 20% recently, but you can see that it's very difficult to pick, okay, when am I going to buy? If we look at from this perspective, many that were expecting bigger crashes, 20, 30, 40, 50%, as we have seen in 2009, 2001, they missed out on huge opportunities to buy and they missed out on huge opportunities to get am the amazing returns that many of us got over the last 9-10 years. Now, I am relatively fully invested now. I have been little invested at the beginning of the year because I did great in 2018. Uh, the biggest, largest position I had got acquired. So that was the only reason I also made a video why I had a lot of cash. Then I wanted to finish my research, go on with my research. And now I'm pretty well positioned in my portfolio. If you check my portfolio that I started in May 2018, where I started with 10,000, I add 1,000 monthly. I'm not now a few thousands up on something of, of, of about 25,000 invested. So that's very, very good. And that's the key that shows, okay, even if the markets are expensive, you can always find the value here and there that will give you good investing returns. And I'm going to further argue that's better to be invested because let's say that you make 15% for three years, your total cumulative return after three years is 52%. Even if there is a decline of 40%, yes, you are down to down 9% from your initial perspective, but add a few dividends, add something, and you will break even. But as we have seen in the drawdowns, 40% declines are really, really rare. And if you don't invest, if you're waiting for those, you might miss on much, much bigger opportunities. If you do 15% over seven years, then whatever crash might happen, whatever might happen, it doesn't affect you because whatever happens, you are still positive. And then again, if we look at the drawdowns of the S&P 500, over the very long term, you can see those declines, those dips as very, very small points in time. So it again evolves, it again involves huge timing skills that very few have to buy re really those dips. And then again, something to help you. Okay, Sven, if you're saying that we can time the market, what we can do, 
It's very simple. You invest based on the return from the business. When you're happy with the return from the business, that's it. I'm currently researching REITs. Here is just the initial table of what I'm doing. And this is just approximate measures to see where to look deeper. But a lot of REITs, in this case, healthcare REITs, offer returns between 7 and 12% over the long term per year when you add the dividend when you add the growth when you add everything what they are doing we are talking high single digits low double digit returns over the very long term and now if you have a portfolio we can time the market we don't know what will happen with in interest rates but what we can do is okay this read is very stable a quality REIT, a quality healthcare REIT, great real estate, great tenants, great tenants coverage, low debt with tenants, low debt with the REIT, and it's giving me 8% when I add the dividend and the growth. And you say I'm very happy with 8% getting from my investment returns over the very long term, then you say at this moment in time I'm buying this. Next quarter, next year, something else might be cheap. This might not be cheap anymore. Then you buy that something else. And that's also my focus. I try to focus on as many stocks that I can cover from various sectors. And each month when I add a thousand to my portfolio that I allow to compound over the long term, I try to buy what is now the cheapest and what gives me a satisfactory expected return in the double digits that's what i focus on so that's my focus and that's something you can also do and the only way the only reason when you don't invest is when you have nothing to invest because you can't find individual investments that are worth of it worthy so warren buffett has his 100 billion in cash but he has that cash because he couldn't find the big elephant to shoot and he is waiting he does the 10 billion occidental or anadarko deal or things like that buys apple they bought apple because not because the stock could go up or down they bought apple because they were happy with at initial 12 percent that not got later to eight percent as the stock increased but they were happy with that return so if you focus on the returns and not on what the market can do yes as we have seen a drawdown can always hit you but over the very long term your portfolio will compound 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 so that any drawdown or stock market crash will not be significant over the very long term so if you want to maximize your long-term investment returns subscribe to this channel of course thank you but if you want to maximize start buying businesses look at the business yield over the long term buy that business when you are happy with the return from the business not from the stock don't be greedy don't try to time the market just take advantage of what the businesses are doing reinvest the dividend if there is a crash check my stock market crash video because you will understand that if there is a crash your long-term returns will be even higher thank you for watching looking forward to your comments and i'll see you in the next video